Welcome back to Couple Movie Watchers. With Ryan and Anna, and today's video is all about Zack Snyder's Justice League. You don't want to miss our review, so stay tuned. Now, welcome back, everybody. In today's video, we're going to break down Zack Snyder's Justice League movie that's currently streaming on HBO Max. Now, before we get started on Zack Snyder's cut, I wanted to give everybody kind of a brief history of how we got to this position. Now, Zack Snyder directed Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, and he also directed the original Justice League movie. Now, before his vision was able to take flight, they released him from the movie, and Josh Whedon, who did Avengers 1 and 2, took over, kind of did his own version of what he wanted to see with the Justice League, mixed in from what we see today. Now, People, a lot of people weren't really satisfied with Joshua Whedon's version of Justice League. He had a few fans, but for the most part, people didn't really like that vision of the movie. And people always wanted to see what was Zack Snyder's original vision for this movie. So fast forward, HBO Max dropped in 2020. They need content and the fans keep on pushing. We want the Snyder cut. It was decided that they were going to let Zack Snyder release his version of what he wanted to really put out there into the world. So that's how we got here with the Zack Snyder's cut. They spent an additional $70 million to have this movie completed. You're getting an extra almost two hours of additional footage that wasn't in the original Justice League, but also with a little bit of a twist. Now, Anna, I know you didn't see the original movie. What are your thoughts about this movie overall? Um, I liked how they all, um, you know, they all come out, you know, in their own way. Batman's the one that kind of like brings everybody together. And then... They figure out how to, they're usually, you know, fighting bad guys on their own. But this time and this one that you see them work together as a team. So I think that's my takeaway from this one. It's like, you know, you could do your own thing, but you could also work as a team and be able to like bring something together more powerful. I totally agree. So this is all about, it's all about teamwork. That's why it's mm -hmm. called the Justice League. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought my thoughts, I thought it was a good movie. I think. You do not have to watch the original Justice League movie to understand this one. And you're better off not watching the original movie because this one adds a lot more to the movie. Mm -hmm. So it's like going to McDonald's, Burger King, and ordering a hamburger. And all they give you is the meat and bun. This one has the pickles, the lettuce, tomatoes, you know, everything that you want to make a complete burger. So mm -hmm. I think this movie does a good job of expanding on the universe and what his vision was. Mm -hmm. I'll start off with what are some of the things I like most about this movie? Seeing both movies, I like that they were able to add more to the story. So each character was fleshed out more. I do like the fact that it was broken up into chapters. I thought that was a, a good thing that they did in this movie. I'll talk more about that later. And the biggest thing is just being more fleshed out as a complete story. I thought that was the biggest takeaway for me in this movie that I really enjoyed. And I do like a lot of scenes with the Flash because I really thought his powers were really cool as well. So what are some things that you liked about this movie? Mm, just the way that, um, you know, Batman was going out there and looking for all these um, different powerful people and figuring out how to save the world together. And then um, you already know the story for like Superman, Batman and Wonder Woman, but they bring in um, Aquaman, Cyborg and Flash and, you know, you get a little bit of everybody. I think the main, you get the more story of Cyborg and you get to kind of like see where he, where he's coming from. And yeah, just, you know, how they work together and figure things out. Yeah, that, that was some of the good things about this movie. What, what are, what do you like least about this movie? The, you know, the part where Flash is like, you know, making like comedy, like jokes, and then like nobody really interacted with him. That really bothered me. You know, that's a good point. I never really thought about it like that as far as, I thought the Flash jokes were funny, but he didn't really get a lot of reaction. It's basically a, a comedian. You have Dave Chappelle, not saying the Flash was Dave Chappelle, but you have Dave Chappelle telling jokes and no one's laughing and everybody's kind of like, yeah, you know, um, let's keep going about our day. Hey. So I would say that was definitely, that is a good observation. For me, I think the movie was super long. I don't know how this movie was ever going to make it to the movie theaters being four hours long. I know there's probably a three hour version somewhere, but four hours, this movie never was going to make it. There was going to be cut somewhere. I think this movie is better on a streaming service. And I think one thing they probably could have did better at is I 
I know they had the different chapters, which I enjoyed, but they should have made the chapters viewable for the audience where you can kind of pick and choose which chapter when they kind of leave and come back on when they're ready to watch it. Because watching this movie, you fell asleep in the middle of it, like at the two hour mark. Next thing I heard, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and we had to watch it the next day and stuff. So I think that's something they could have did a better job of just breaking it into chunks for people who kind of watch it later on, not just stopping and starting it on our own, but just have the chapters broken up where the viewer could kind of pick chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and so forth. Now, who was your favorite character in this movie? Now, who was your favorite character in this movie? I want to say um, Aquaman because, you know, I never seen this movie. And just when the way he was fighting with his Triton, I thought it was cool, um, interesting to see. And I wanted to see what his story was about. And I also like feel like Flash was also interesting. Like we didn't, if you've never seen or you don't know about the comics, you know, it's some it's another character I would like to see, like his background story how he got the power hmm, nice nice yeah i definitely like um uh, my favorite character was definitely the flash maybe cyborg as well but definitely the flash i like how his powers work i like seeing him kind of like run through stuff i thought he was a funny character got some good jokes in there even though no one really re reacted to it mm -hmm. and i just love seeing him interact in the fight scenes i feel like it brought a lot of a lot to the table and just him being excited to be a part of the team like mm -hmm. he's a fan of batman he's a fan of superman so i thought his character was really great added a lot of stuff to it so he's definitely my favorite character out of the bunch and who's your least favorite character batman because uh, like i didn't really get to see him you know bring something to the table i mean he what he did bring everybody together and he has the money but he did. He doesn't have like you know something appealing like the other characters. You don't like him beating all the minions up. Yeah, well, yeah, that was cool, but it was okay. I think because the other characters have more power and they're more cool, I feel like it brings him kind of down. So you're discriminating against regular people <laughs> because he's the only regular person. You don't like him because he can't do anything flashy. Mm -hmm. Dang. That's all good. I think for me, actually, it's funny. I felt like watching the original Justice League, Aquaman was my least favorite. And this movie gets a little bit better, but I think my least favorite characters will probably be Aquaman. And in this particular movie, I thought the Aquaman movie was good, but in this movie, Aquaman and maybe Batman, they're, they're about even. Like the more I think about it, Batman, there was no growth in his character. And Aquaman, yeah, he was cool and all, but you know, comparing, comparing them to the other characters, I thought the other characters were were better so those were my two well, least was it because i like him or what no it is more <laughs> the more i think about it the more because like actually when i watched the first movie before an original aquaman movie mm -hmm. i thought i didn't really like his character too much and then it made me think about it like you know what his character isn't that strong to me in his movie but his own movie is actually pretty good we're not, we're not talking about his actual movie just who's my least favorite character out of the bunch it would be those two mm -hmm. and i just felt like the other characters were were better handled and and his character in this particular movie wasn't handled the best. Not saying it was bad, but if you're saying at least someone has to be at the bottom, and I will put Aquaman and Batman in that category. I thought the other characters a little bit better and stronger in this movie. And um, yeah, this is the most important question. Uh, do you want to see more? Does this movie make you want to see more? Yeah, I do want to see more. Well, that's what I was saying earlier. Um, I want to see more of uh, Aquaman. I want to see the movie because um, I don't know what his story is about. Um, and then Flash too, you know, like it, he didn't really show how he got his powers or, or anything. Just He just became part of the team and I just want to see what his background is. Definitely, definitely. I definitely agree. Uh, I definitely want to see more to this movie. I'm going to get more to that at the end of the video. But how do you rate this movie? One out of ten. Seven. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. One thumbs up. <laughs> one to five stars. Four. A, B, or C. B. Perfect. I have to think about it. <laughs> I give this movie an eight, A, B, and a four stars mm -hmm. overall definitely worth watching it if you haven't seen the original note don't just watch this Zack Snyder cut instead you're just gonna get more for your money and these are some of my final thoughts with spoilers so if you don't want to hear any spoilers you can cut the video off now this is gonna have some major spoilers one for me I even though I enjoyed this movie and I want to see more that's the negative part about this movie because there might not be another movie and this is probably going to be it. And a movie left a lot of questions that I feel like we didn't get answers to. Why Lois Lane was so important to 
Clark Kent. We, we know why, but she doesn't really stand out in this movie, and she's really a focal point since Batman vs. Superman, and especially in Superman's story. So without without that, it kind of feels like they, like especially for a movie in four hours, they didn't really go into depth there, and they didn't really touch on how, how the Flash went back in time. They, he goes back in time in this movie, but he doesn't go back in time where they show him give the warning to Bruce. It looks like they're trying to say that for another movie that's not going to happen, and I kind of feel there was so so many loose ends that just never got addressed that without getting another movie i kind of feel they just never they build up to stuff that they just never got to see and i'm glad that Zack snyder you know we get to see his full vision but we're never gonna see the end of his vision so it's kind of like oh it gave me more i have the burger with the, the lettuce the cheese the sauce but what about my fries what about my drink you know i don't want to just eat this burger by so take that back you know what i mean that's how i kind of feel about it I do want to see more, and I don't think more is ever going to come. Mm. So I think that's the negative point. And he has so many opportunities to explain more with this whole flashback in time, really expand upon this whole nightmare, uh, these whole vision scenes since they've been shown since Batman versus Superman. And yes, it would have been great if he could complete his vision, but if he's never going to complete his vision, it kind of makes me, yes, this was an enjoyable movie, but it was four hours long. You fell asleep on it. Mm -hmm. um, they should have put, put it in chapters because it's a long movie to watch and I can't see this ever being in movie theaters because he doesn't know how to tell a superhero movie under three hours. And hopefully he gets a chance to complete this film. But my whole thing is if he does get another movie, is it going to actually complete the series or is it just going to be another part in a longer story that we just never get to an end mm. and i feel like that's the point that's actually missing in this series is like there's no a lot of key story points are just never resolved and those it's one thing to introduce new story points for a new movie in the future but this movie never really addresses like some of the focal issues especially when it comes to the whole future aspect of them going back in time and warning bruce wayne or batman in the beginning about the coming apocalypse from dark side and everything else mm -hmm. in a whole you know bad superman you just keep on getting glimpses of it and you just it just never it's just never answered and especially being over six seven hours long when you combine both movies i feel like the part where just because of what you said or like about you know they give you glimpse of certain parts of the stories with her in it what's her name again louis lane louis lane Bastard. The part, the part with the, the part with the Lewis Lane character, you know, just because you said that about her, I didn't, I kind of get the idea of what they're trying, they were trying to show you, but I feel like it's like a long, they should just did it one, one little scene of like, okay, this is, she's the main reason why, you know, he turns bad, you know, they should have done it all together instead of separating it in between the movies because then it kind of throws you off of what's happening or what what they're trying to say yeah because they do show her like a death sequence with lois lane you kind of assume that's on her. here they did yeah like he's like mourning and then dark side kind of comes to the by side but i just feel like you know see that's why i'm saying like yeah. because they separated in between the movie it kind of throws you off you're like what's going on kind of like why why do they keep showing that and what happened kind of thing so i want you to pay attention all four hours man all mm -hmm four hours but yeah i think um i think that's the only thing is just they should have just cut it in half and just showed you know half of the movie and then the other half that way if you don't get to finish all the way through you can actually finish one and then continue the next one so you know you don't miss anything in the movie mm -hmm. yeah totally agree um yeah, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully, it'll come out with a sequel. And then also, like, the ending part, it's like, this whole time I thought the Joker was going to come out in it, and he just comes out in, a, like, the last 10 minutes, I guess. Yeah. And it's just like, what's the whole point of that scene if, you know, there's it looks like there's going to be a second movie, but then from what you're saying, it's, like, not going to happen. I'm like, what's the point of having that if, the, if it's not going to come out? And I think one thing, like, if you go back and look at Batman versus Superman Justice League movie, I think one thing they do a horrible job in both is the marketing. So, for example, when you see Batman versus Superman, a movie, when it was marketing it, they were marketing it as the Justice League movie. Like, we were going to see The Flash, we were going to see Aquaman. And in that movie, Batman versus Superman, you seen, like, 30 seconds 
seconds of each, right? You see, mm-hmm. like, these little... That's 30 seconds, but they promoted the movie like it was about them. Mm-hmm. Just like this movie, like, you see, start seeing all these things about the Joker and, you know, some of these extra scenes. But these extra scenes weren't really... You know, they were cool scenes. They shouldn't have been advertised like it was a focal point of the movie. Mm-hmm. You know, they should have just not even... They, they they shouldn't they shouldn't show people none of that. So mm-hmm. if you would have seen it, you would have been like happily surprised. Because watching this movie, the only thing I could think like, man, you know, where where are they gonna show the scene, how it's gonna play out, how are they gonna add to it? And it's just kinda like some extra scenes in a movie that doesn't matter if there's no part three. There's like a throw it throws part you two. off throw, throws you off from the actual movie. <laughs> and then you're just like, What what was the point of them being in the trailer in the first place? Yeah, that's that's the only negative I would say. They they should have just held off and it, they gave you too much on the trailer. So whoever doing our trailers, I feel probably need to get fired because <laughs> it, it kind of ruins the movie in a sense. It shows you stuff that if you're, if you're familiar with the source material and behind the scenes stuff, it, it just makes you feel like, oh, well, no, they're not focal points. You're going to get like 30 seconds of this character here, maybe like two minutes here. And that's it. That's that's mm-hmm. the only downside I would say about this movie. But overall, better than the original movie. He did a good job. And um, the action sequence with... Um Superman, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman was really cool. I like that part the most. Good stuff. Well, I'm yawning because, you know, so tired after watching that movie. But uh, anything else you want to add? No. Um, let us know what you think and hit that like button. Yeah, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the channel. And even if you don't like the channel, subscribe anyway. It helps us out, man. It helps us <laughs> out. We're trying to get to one thousand million trillion likes let's do this man do it for dc uh zack snyder <laughs> and uh we're excited for that other movie coming out too the zombie one oh yeah zack snyder zombie movie i can't wait for that one that's that one looks really good i think that comes out in may if i'm not mistaken Ooh, so when close, that comes out you know zack snyder be doing his thing i love him in zombie movies so i think that's he has a really good uh neck when it comes to zombie films and uh dc films i think can't he did wait a good to job. see it can't wait to see it Mm -hmm. until next time we're out of here bye